Lesson number two, the living world. List the things seen in the picture. Say whether they are living or non-living things. Characteristics of living things. There are many kinds of plants and animals around us. They show some similarities and some differences. Yet, with the help of certain features, we can tell that they are all living things. These features are not seen in non-living things. Such features are said to be the characteristics of living things. Let us study these characteristics. In this picture, the living things are boy, girl, hen, dog and tree. And non-living things are ball, book, fan, house, bucket and kite. Characteristics of living things First is growth. Student, you can see in the first picture, there is a chicken, a puppy, a sapling, a young boy and a young girl. In the second picture, we can see that the chicken has turned into a hen. The puppy has turned into a young dog. The sapling has turned into a bush. And the children turn into elder children. In the third picture, we can see that the young dog has turned into fully grown dog. The boy has turned into a young man. The girl has turned into a young lady. And the bush has turned into a tall tree. In the fourth picture, we can see that the young man has turned into an old man. The young lady has turned into an old woman. The tall tree has turned into a huge tree. Above pictures show that a baby grows up to become an adult person. Maybe woman, maybe man. During the period of its growth, the baby gains in height, weight and strength. In the same manner, all animals grow into adults in a certain period. Generally, humans require 18 to 21 years for this growth. Here is the lifespan and age of maturity of some plants and animals given. Try this. Tie a thread to the tip of a potted sapling. Keep the thread stretched and tie it to a peg or nail above the plant. What do you observe after 10 to 15 days? What tells us that the plant has grown taller? In all plants, it is mainly the width and height of the stem that grows. As they grow, some plants develop branches while others do not. Though all living things grow, animals grow only for a certain period. Plants, on the other hand, grow as long as they live. The growth of living things occur from within the body, which means that growth occurs in all parts of the body. Here let's see growth in banyan and coconut trees. In 5 to 6 years, these plants grow into adult and reproduce. And the lifespan of these trees is 200 to 1000 years. What differences do you see in the growth of trees like the mango, banyan and people and that of the bamboo, coconut and toady palms? Trees like mango, banyan and people have lots of branches and leaves. They have a thick and wide trunk which is short. Trees like bamboo, coconut and toady palm have few leaves and they are found only at the top of the trunk. The trunk of tree is tall and comparatively thin. Photosynthesis Food is necessary for the growth. Leaves of plants produce food with the help of green color pigment called chlorophyll. Due to presence of these green pigments, the leaves of plants appear green in color. You can see inside the leaf, there are many transport vessels, air spaces and chlorophyll pigment are present. 
water and nutrients absorbed by the roots of plants transported to chlorophyll in the leaves through transport vessels to produce food when the sunlight falls on the leaves of plants the tiny pores present on the leaves called stomata open through which carbon dioxide gas is taken in for the production of food in the chlorophyll with the help of water and carbon dioxide glucose that is food is produced in the chlorophyll and oxygen is released out through stomata glucose that is food is transported to various parts of plant for the growth and development of the plant and the excessive food produced is stored in the various parts of plants like leaves stems roots and fruits plants make their own food in sunlight plants produce food from water nutrients in the soil and the carbon dioxide present in the air this process takes place in the leaves of plants it is brought about in the presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll in the leaves this process of food production is called photosynthesis animals however do not have chlorophyll they do not produce their own food they search for food animals such as goats sheep horses eat grass while wild animals such as tigers and lions meet their need for food by hunting other animals which live on plants autotrophs plants are called autotrophs as they prepare their own food heterotrophs all animals and few plants take a ready food from the plants they are called heterotrophs that's it for today thank you students